This session is about Ikrima ibn Abu Jahal. Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, Musaf ibn Umar, and other sons of noble families had all became Muslims. Ikrima ibn Abu Jahal probably would have been a Muslim too, but his father Abu Jahal was the, the the foremost proponent of shirk and he was a tyrant of the Quraysh. Ikrina found himself defending his father and and ridiculing um, Muhammad And when he did that, he won the admiration of his father. At the Battle of Badr, Abu Jahl, Ikrima's father, swore that he uh, swore by his gods that he, he that he wouldn't leave uh, that he that he wouldn't leave the battleground and go back to Mecca without killing Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What and. During the battle, Ikrima saw his father getting pierced by spears and getting killed. This uh, this made him hate the Muslims even more. And one sometime later, Muhammad wasallam said he would said he would he wanted to kill Ikrima ibn Abi Jahal and some other mushrik and some other mushrikun and so and so Ikrima heard about this and he, he started running away when he came up to the Red Sea a seaman uh, said be be pure and I will take you across the Red Sea. Ikrima ibn Abu Jahal said, How do I be pure? And the seaman said, that, uh, The seaman said, Testify that there is only one God and Muhammad is his messenger. Ikrima ibn Abu Jahal said, But that is the very thing I ran away uh, that, uh, that That is the very thing I fled from. Meanwhile, it, his what his wife uh, Ikrima's wife went to the prophet went to the prophet of Allah and subhanahu wa ta'ala and said and said I would like to be a Muslim what do I have to do? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said testify that there is only one God and Muhammad is his messenger and Karima's wife testified that there is no one God and Muhammad is his messenger. She, she, she set off to find her husband and when she finally f found him, she said, come back with me, I have talked with uh, the I have talked with the prophet. He he has granted you an amnesty. He won't do anything to you. So he went back with uh, Ikrima. Went back with his wife. When he got back, he went. He became a Muslim. And when he became a Muslim, he promised that he would he would participate in every war. That, that the Muslims engaged in. At the Battle of Yamuk, Harith, Harith ibn Hisham, Ayash ibn Abi Rupiah, and, and Karima ibn Abu Jahal lay, lay injured on the floor after, uh, on the battlefield after the Muslims had won the war. Harith asked for water, and when he came, uh, when they when they brought him water, he said, "Give it to Ayash." 
And when when they got to Ayash, she had just died. So they went back to Hadith, uh, but he had also breathed his last. And when they finally got to Ikrima, he had also died. And the Sahaba, Allah anhum, prayed that Allah would grant his peace and blessings on them.